Hello ladies and gentlemen, Rick here again with another uh, tutorial and this one has to do with timing. Um, the thing to understand about Explainio is that when you're working on the uh, canvas here, everything happens one after the other. So as you can see up here, we got the uh, we got Lisa. She does her thing for 4.2 seconds. Then uh, we got the construction guy comes in and then he waves and holds his hands up for five seconds. So if we preview that scene, we'll see there's Lisa. There's her 4.2 seconds going by. Then we have the construction guy come up and he puts his hands up. Okay, so that's basically how actions happen across the canvas. So we're looking at 9.2 seconds total. So what we want to do is we want to set this up so that when she's waving, then when the construction guy comes in, you have the speech bubble come right on top along with them. See, now what you're looking at is, is the uh, Lisa and the construction guy are now a video. I rendered the first scene out, brought it back in, and then I timed out this uh, speech bubble to come in uh, right when the construction guy does. I might have to, see it's, it delays a little bit. Okay, so now this is kind of working backwards for everybody, but let me go in here to the canvas. What I did was I created this text off screen and I put 108 frames in there. Um, now, when I reviewed the video in Windows Media Player, which is probably not the most accurate player for timing, it said that the guy pops up at four seconds. So four seconds is 96 frames, but obviously that wasn't long enough because the, the uh, speech bubble was still coming up before the construction guy. So I'm gonna add uh, 12 frames here. So that would make this 20 and let's see what the timing looks like so let me preview the screen again here's Lisa and then the construction guy and the bubble should pop okay it was a little bit too long there all right so um, let me go back in here and change this it was 108 I went 120 so let's divide the two and render the scene And let's see, construction guy, um, bubble pops up just a little bit late. So let me go back in here and reduce this down to 06. And let's see if that will do the trick. But the point is, is that you're, you have to have something. This is a video playing in the background. The, that text on the screen is there to delay the next action and the next action is this good day so I think we're a little bit closer now so Lisa's doing her Lisa and the construction guy are a video now see the, the balloon popped up in pretty decent timing right there okay so let me walk backwards and that you see see what I've done remember that this scene here is just Lisa and the construction guy this is what I'm using as my base so I took this scene and I rendered it out. Okay, so now it is a video. I came over here to this scene, and as you can see, I brought the video in, the one with Lisa and the construction guy, okay? I brought that in as a background video. So background videos start playing the instant that scene comes on. So, that, so your timing starts at zero. So these people are doing their thing, and the video has to play for roughly four seconds before the construction guy comes in, it says Lisa is moving around for 4.2 seconds. Okay, and then the construction guy happens. So I want the speech bubble to pop up at roughly 4.4, 4.5 seconds so that when the construction guy pops up with his hands up, the speech bubble pops up with him. So that's what I'm attempting here. As you can see, this says 4.4 seconds. So what this is, this text here see I put this default text on the screen created a animation point and then I added 106 frames you know which is I guess is roughly the 4.4 seconds so the, the sole purpose of this text over here is a delay a timing device because the the video is running from the beginning of this scene 
the first thing that happens is this default text gets put out here and make sure that you turn off the sketching and take away all the timing from this text otherwise you, you're trying to do timing here and it won't make any sense at all because you would think you know well, why is it taking so long that's because if you have action before and it's got a couple of seconds here that also adds to the time so instead of you having 108 uh, frames there you actually have another 28 frames you've added because of this time so zero this out action before is nothing on that text and that's what's in this frame here is that text and that's this here so only thing I want this to do is to take up the time I give it between here and here and that right now is 106 frames which should be the roughly 4.4 seconds you see there okay so now to back up again after I rendered this video of the two, I ran the video in Windows Media Player, and I should have brought it up in Vegas or something, to see exactly when this guy appears. Okay, and I mean, it kind of roughly tells you here. So 4.2 seconds, so 24 times 4.2 equals 100.8. But as you can see, it's taken 106 to get there. So it just, you know, there's a little sloppiness in the timing. Uh, and that's what you got to play with. But you want to make sure you get rid of all other factors that may cause you a problem in your timing. So, again, this is a video that I created. Ran this scene. Right here it says create video from this scene, which is what I did. Then I brought that video back in to here. And here's the video right there of this scene with Lisa and the guy. And then what I have going on here is I'm burning up 4.4 seconds between here and here because it'll draw this off screen or it'll just it'll create this off screen and it'll appear. It'll wait 106 frames for this to happen. Then the next action happens, which is the the balloon, which is just going to pop on. And then the text is going to pop right on. Boom. The result is the video is playing that text over off the screen is is doing its thing now see they both popped up together the construction guy came in a little earlier than the balloon and i'm sure if i took off the eight frames i could probably get it right down to where they both pop at the same time but that is the key the you what you're trying to do is time the action out okay now just so remember that Things happen one after the other. And this is how this is working. This scene background video starts at the beginning of the scene. The other thing that starts at the beginning of the scene is this timing here. Okay, so the video is gonna start and this text is gonna print here. Then it's gonna wait 108 frames before it puts this uh, bubble on. But by the time that 108 frames goes by, the construction guy should be appearing in the video that's running underneath this scene. Okay, and this this is kind of how you have to stack action. You can create some scenes that have some basic action and leave out the text and bubbles and any other animation you want to do. Then you bring the video back in and you time it out to know where things happen. Now just say, okay, we figured out that this is happening here and then when the construction guy stops waving his hand you want something else to happen you maybe want to put some additional maybe you want to put the clock out here just to do something a little bit different now what i could do is have the clock start off screen and then after the construction guy waves his hand have the clock come on screen And it wouldn't affect the timing of the video because the video is running underneath. So this is going to be good day. Then we'll have the clock come out here. And I'm going to leave it at one second for now. Let's just see if I don't mess things up or not. Okay, there's Lisa. And then construction guy and balloon. Okay, it pops up. Good day. Or he's doing his thing. And then now see the error I did right here was I had the clock draw now that drawing added time to the overall so what I gotta do is go over here get rid of the sketch by hand get rid of this timing and then now that clock comes out like it should so let's see if it uh, 
this was all worth the effort for adding the clock. So there's Lisa, construction guy in the balloon, pops up, boom, okay. And then now the clock comes out. Yeah, that wasn't too bad, I guess. I could have did better timing on the clock. But it's appearing doesn't really make any sense. It's just to show you how timing works. The timing that's happening is from this text to here because this text appears. The video in the background is not having any effect on it. It's just waiting until this thing pops. Let me see if I can make this move a little faster. Here's this text here. The good day text has See, it has this timing right here on it. So let me get rid of this 75 frames. And nothing before, nothing after. Okay, good. So if I try this again, the clock will appear faster. So here's the speech bubble. And see, there's the clock. Now the delay was that even though I wasn't having a sketch, it still had that delay, that animation duration. I mean, action duration. So now that I've gotten rid of that, now you see that the clock flows right on in. Let's try this one more time. And see, these, these are the troubleshooting steps that you need to go through to look at what's happening. There, I saw that this clock was coming in late. The last thing that happened prior to the clock was this good day word, I mean phrase. So I went back to look and see what good day was doing. And in fact, it had some time with it. So when I got rid of that time, then everything seemed to flow. But like I said, everything happens one after the other. Now, if I wanted to have the clock on the screen stay a little bit longer, now is when I can go in here to action after. And then I can delay after the action a few seconds there. Now, let's see what this does for me. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, a lot of this is trial and error. You just have to kind of time it out and make it work for you. But see, adding that time after the clock came out, let the guy finish his motion. Do you notice that? Okay, so I'm going to place for the last time. Uh, basically, you should get the, gi the gist of this thing. This is a video. These two people are a video in the background. And we're applying this stuff on top by using timing mechanisms uh, that are basically off-screen items that just take up time until you need the item to appear. That's basically what's happening. Here we have this coming out in one second. I'm going to do it in a half a second because I like it just to pop. There is no time on the action before and none on the action after for any of these, including the speech bubble. But this is the text that's off screen. As you can see, there's no time here. The timing is all here. See the 106 frames. That's what we're shooting for. So if the bubble pops up too soon, take away some frames. If it, uh, no, if it pops up too soon, add some frames. I'm sorry. And if it, if it pops up too late, then take away a few frames. 12 frames is a half a second. But a half a second is a long time when you're looking at animation. Uh, so you might want to try three or four frames here or there. 12 frames is a half a second. 24 is a full second. If you time your video out and you know this guy is supposed to pop up at 4.3 or 4.4, then you want to do 24 times 4.3 and that will give you 103 frames. So try that. Then you go back and forth, you know, a few frames here and there, to try to get as close as possible. My suggestion would be if you have a video editor, render this video out, bring it into the editor and then look and see exactly what second the other action is happening like what second the guy really pops up then you can get closer to your goal it's not going to be right on but you'll be within 12 15 frames of your timing mark and also make sure that none of these items have any before or after action timing because that will also affect what you're trying to do now i know this is clear as mud and some of this stuff can be difficult um but this here is really not that difficult. It's just time consuming because you're trying to figure out how long do you delay before you start adding additional actions. That's where the drama comes in. But uh, it, it's, it's not a big thing. This is explained to you. 
and we're all here to try to do the right thing and make things nice and creative and if we want a cust a client to pay us a thousand dollars for the video we have to put a little bit of work in you know so or even five hundred dollars i'll take that too anyway ladies and gentlemen have a good day i hope this helped you if you have any questions or whatever just submit them and then i will create a new video or try to expand upon that particular point enjoy